Ladies and gentlemen, we have a race. So yesterday, as expected, Robert Downey Jr. and Divine Joy Randolph won the supporting categories at SAG. Killian Murphy proves he is really the front runner in Best Actor, but then Best Actress, a category most were predicting Emma Stone, but Ayo, Lily Gladstone, everybody. So normally I would do some reactions to hearing the winners, but but yesterday I actually was working at the SAG Awards and I was actually helping on the red carpet kind of push out some social media stuff. So naturally I heard who won already. So this isn't so much a reaction, but more so my reactionary thoughts on the winners. So first category, female in a supporting role. And the actor goes to, oh, Divine Joy Randall. So we knew this was gonna happen. This was already something that everyone was predicting. So there's really not a lot to say about it. I, I love Randolph in the holdovers. I think she's terrific in the role, but I've always been a bit surprised that this has really become such an unstoppable train, but hey, choo choo guys, choo choo. So then we get to the supporting actor category. And the uh, actor goes to Robert Downey Jr. for Oppenheimer. So obviously there wasn't really a debate whether he was gonna win this. If he did lose this, then maybe there could be some debate that we can have about whether he might lose the Oscar. But Robert Downey Jr. steps away from Iron Man and is now going to be winning his Oscar. That's just happening. And then we get to Best Actor. The actor goes to Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer. Now many out there were flat out predicting Killian Murphy. I mean, he won BAFTA, he won uh, Golden Globe. It's, it's not a big shock, but if there was a race I thought was gonna be closest at SAG, I thought this was the one. And I went on a limb and I predicted Paul Giamatti with a lot of other people, I will say. Now, was I confident? Not fully. I knew this was a very close race, but you know, SAG always has a surprise. So I just, I just picked the wrong category where I thought the surprise was gonna be. And, and honestly, I'll be honest, I, I blame Critics' Choice. I do. I think they're like over the top love for Barbie just threw the entire world out of balance. Now I did get some heat for predicting Paul Giamatti, but the truth is I've been predicting Paul Giamatti for SAG, you know, before BAFTA. And I predicted Killian Murphy for BAFTA too. I was thinking, okay, Killian Murphy's gonna win BAFTA and then I think Paul Giamatti might win SAG. It was really the critic's choice that gave me that pause. And you know, people can call me crazy, but last year, Brennan Fraser lost Globe and BAFTA. He only had Critics' Choice and ended up taking SAG. So in reality, you know, Paul Giamatti even had more than Brendan Fraser last year because he had the Globes. And also like Paul Giamatti's got like four SAG awards, you know, clearly they liked the guy. So I just thought, okay, there's gonna be a surprise. It's probably gonna be here. I was wrong though, I was wrong. The Oppenheimer sweep proves to just be unstoppable. I mean, the race kind of feels over. Like since 2005, for sure, every Best Actor winner that won the SAG and BAFTA went on to win the Oscars. Like having those two awards is such a killer combo. So yeah, I think I think Killian Murphy is gonna win that Oscar now. So it's a very deserving performance. Congratulations, Killian Murphy. Congratulations to all of you who who predicted him with with no qualms about it. Much respect. Now, before we get to the shocker of the evening, let's first talk about the final awards of the night. Best Ensemble goes to Oppenheimer. This was a category where I did feel like the Oppenheimer sweep would kind of continue. And we're looking at a pretty historical sweep. So when Oppenheimer takes PJ, it's gonna be taking all the major awards, which I, I don't think we've seen since Argo, right? It's even looking stronger than Argo because it's coming with director, it's gonna have two acting wins. Yeah, so it's gonna be a nice sweep. It's gonna be a chim chimity, chim chimity, chim chim cherry. When you're with a sweep, you're in glad company. But it is nice to know that something can be actually a consensus pick in this day and age. But let's move on to the big shocker of the night. And the actor goes to Lily Gladstone, the killers of the flower moon. This was a race I, I genuinely assumed was pretty close to wrapped up, but Gladstone came in and said, no, 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 no. Now, some of you might say like, how could you predict Paul Giamatti? Why would you predict Paul Giamatti? Well, Paul Giamatti had Critics' Choice and Globe. 
Lily Gladstone, I mean, she just had the globe. And that was like a month and a half ago, which in the Oscar race, that's like basically six years ago. But this has really mixed up the category in a very fun way. Now, for those of you who correctly predicted actor and actress both correctly, very, very, very well done, I salute you. Now, I have seen some people apparently pretty annoyed that Emma Stone lost here. Personally, I love Stone, I love Gladstone, I love them both. So seeing them kind of share the awards, you know, throughout the entire season, for me has been, it's, it's been great. Now, if you're actually angered by this, if I could, look at the face of the person who lost. Lily Gladstone, the killers of the flower moon. Honestly, I think this is the award show's at its best. A shocking win accompanied with the person who lost showing such genuine enthusiasm and support. I, I love seeing that. But yeah, we have a very close race on our hands. We have something to be in suspense for, for Oscar night. So it's, it's, it's pretty fun. I love this. This is what I, this is why I love the Oscars. And also what's very exciting is that this is the last data point we needed for the best actor formula. So the winners of the actor formula will be posted pretty soon. And hopefully that will help us in this very close best actress race. Now, if you haven't seen the actor formula, you can check out that video right here, or maybe it's on this side, I don't, I don't know. So hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see the results of that experiment. And also let me know in the comment section what your thoughts on the SAG winners were. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you at the Oscars, which is right around the corner. Chim chimity, chim chimity, chim chim chim.